So mashallah, you all are ulama. So those of you who have this habit of just ignoring questions uh, because you want to give the impression that you're so busy, you know, this year of the brand Desai would tell us that it's one of the fitness and alhamdulillah, we also witnessed it ourselves. That one of the fitness of young ulama is that they like to give this impression that mashallah, we are very busy. That's Mufti Brahim Desai used to always tell us that they said, they, what are busy with? Busy relaxing at home, busy scrolling social media, but they want to show people, mashallah, me, I'm really busy. I don't have no time at all. So, and I always say that our senior ulama, they are really busy, but they are more accessible. You phone Mufti Raza, I'll tell him I want to meet you, say, come tomorrow after Fajr. Oh, my Fazl Rahman, he'll tell you, phone me tonight. They, but they are so busy. But within a few hours, you can meet them, you can uh, talk to them. I phone the young ulama, they make it seem like they are so busy. Meantime, quarter of the time, they are busy doing nothing. So remember, so this I'm conveying the knowledge of my asatidah to you. That our job is to serve the ummah. Our job is not now to impress people, to give them the impression that, mashallah, we are all the time so busy. Don't act like a big hazrat. So serve the ummah. Be there for the people. Assist the people. There's once on a Sunday night, um, there's a, a very late, and one alim responded to a question of a girl who was about to commit suicide. Imagine if he had to act like now, who me, I'm so busy with my mutala, etc. She would have committed suicide, isn't it? It's saving the lives of people. And it's also no use, you don't want to respond to them now. And then when they go ask someone else from a different manhaj, then you then complain. So the principle is, It's not even permissible. And Ibn Nujayim, he also mentions this principle in Bahrul Ra'iq. You, uh, you can say I quoted it from Malik, is now I'm quoting it from Hanafis. That if it's, um, yes, if it's something which does, it's not necessary, it's not urgent, then you can delay. But if it's something which is necessary, then it's necessary, then you have to tell the person. So, uh, especially when it's urgent. So the questioner is asking you that um, now in Ramadan, did my fast break, did my fast not break? You need to answer that person. Because the person is asking you at the time of uh, Salah. Do, uh, do I have or do I don't have or do you have to tell the person that uh, Salah time is expiring? A married person, he uttered some words. Did divorce take place or not? You want to act now like the big husband, give the impression that, mashallah, you're so busy, they must make appointment with you. Meantime, this person is living in zina. So you need to tell the people urgently and you work, you don't have, you serve the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not on your schedule. Yes, but if it's not urgent, it's just a general question. Um, then if you delay, and like also uh, uh, what um, Alam Abul Walid Baji mentioned, if you want to give maybe a more detailed uh, response, etc., then it is fine. So this